and we are about here. This is the this is the thrown together tournament right here out of eight random competitors we have here at the semifinals. This is one of those two games. We have Dark Warrior 72 against Beer Stool. Now the difference between these kinds of duels you never really know what you're gonna get. Because they're not doing kind of their own kind of test. These players are going all out right now. Dark Warrior is using a Beast Warrior combination deck, while Fear Stool is using something I have not seen yet. So we'll have to find out and see what happens. This is now turn three. Actually, turn four. It's Fear Stool's move. He has three, currently three cards face down, while Dark Warrior has one Beast King Barbados on the field with 1900 attack points and one face down. On his last turn, he declared direct attack, and he was able to take out. 1900 of his life points. Of that, or Fear Stool just did not want to use his card. We'll have to find out until the time comes. And he doesn't do anything. Fear Stool stays solid. Dark Warrior summons a Boxer, a level 4 Warrior type, and he's able to do two more direct attacks. He sits one card face down, and that that's going to be it right now. Dark Warrior looks like he's going to declare an attack. Beast King won, and looks like that's going to be the end. Game 1 ends with Dark Warrior's victory. If Dark Warrior wins one more game, he will advance to the final round, which we are going to be playing against someone else. I actually don't know who would be the, in the final person. It was a very well put together tournament. It was just a big collaboration of people. Dark Warrior starts with a Heroic Challenger Assault Halberd with one card face down. He activated Traden by sending Beast, Beast King Barbados to the graveyard. And we'll see what happens next. It is Fear Stool's turn. Fear Stool is running a 41 card deck with no extra, while Dark Warrior is also doing a 41 card deck. The only thing Fear Stool can do is the Dark Hole. Fortunately, with this deck, he's going to have to do a lot more better than that. Trade in, he discards Flock Dragon, he sets another card face down. That is the end of the turn. Alright, we have some of our combatants right here. We have Deadstorm and one big rat, Dummy and uh, Dummy 4.4 and Rob Dog, also known as Roblisk, Tedstool and Fierce Duel, and Dark Warrior and myself, the PE Music Man. Because I was dueling, I was not able to see all the other competitors, but I actually dueled the same deck against Dark Warrior. I have to say, we we really battled it out, but he beat me in a very close tie-breaking match. But now, we're going to go into this duel right here. This is Fierce Duel and Dark Warrior. The other semi-final match is Dead Storm and Dummy. And the winner of that will face this winner in the final round. Fierce Duel's move, he only has one card face down. And he's facing on a level 8 Beast King of Barbados. He discards Jinjo to summon Dark Refer, a four-star 
monster with 1700 attack points. Wait, but he does that. He exchanges that for Jinzo. He plays left hand offering, a very risky move. And he had, and he brings Regeki right from his deck to his hand to take out Beast King. Now Jinzo will direct attack. Strange enough, I played a duel very similar against this. Not a similar matchup, but I played this deck, and Fierce Duel has a lot of good things going. The sad part is he has to banish the cards for left arm offering. But let's see if that was worth it. He banished Vanity's Fiend and Spell Canceler. Cards that we don't see a lot. We see a direct attack right now from Heroic Challenger. Fierce Duel has no cards in his hand. This is the first one. This is for all the marbles. And what will he do now? He will set that card face down. And Dark Warrior will draw. He summons another Heroic Challenger. And here comes the direct attack. Halbert, 1800. We have Call the Haunted played. Looks like he's going to bring back Jinzo. And looks like that's going to stop the game for a little bit. Pure Stool draws. Oh, he tributes this. He tributes it for Jinzo Lord. A much stronger version of Jinzo, which we don't see a lot. But Jinzo Lord's on the field. He's a level 8 machine type monster. Same effects as Jinzo, except one time a turn, he can destroy all face up trap cards and affect 600 life point damage. That's pretty good. He recently destroyed a, nut, a heroic challenger. But Dark Warrior has been in harder spots before. He switches his challenger to defense mode, and it looks like that might be the end of his turn. Oh no, he banishes three cards. He brings up Block Dragon. That is a way... That's a way to protect your defense. Fierce Duel draws. He, set, he sets one card face down. Looks like he's going to go into, onto the offensive. That's what I'm thinking about. Dark Warrior number three is tiered as number three in this tournament. While well, Fierce Duel is ranked number 7. Fierce Duel is a pretty powerful duelist right now. Dark Warrior activates Twin Twisters, taking down his two traps, which happen to be Call the Haunted and Psychic Shockwave. He, he puts his only card face down. It looks like he's really facing that block against that block dragon. And that's, Dark Warrior is really giving him a solid block there. It's really hard for Fierce Duel to come back around. He already used the Regeki in his deck, so what else can he use? He also uses Dark Hole as well. And we'll go quickly with a graveyard count for each player. For Fierce Duel, he's used Call of the Haunted, like Shockwave, Jinzo, Regeki, Left Arm Offering, Dark Schiffer, Jinzo, and Dark Hole. But on the mean side, Block Dragon was recently tributed for Kala's. Or counts the Shadow Monarch. Looks like he's going to banish Jinzo Lord. In fact, 1,000 life points. This might be the end of the game. But, Block Dragon's effect is about to happen. And if it's sent to the graveyard, he can add the three rock type monsters from his deck to his hand, which whose total levels equal 8. So we'll see if he can. Oh, that's clever. Pierce Stool plays off a limiter removal. I guess just for fun. And Callus goes in for the win. The semifinalist and finalist is now Dark Warrior 77. It's been fun, but Music Man is out.